लिली क्लेन कैसे हो मेरे बच्चों लिली लगता है कि तुम घर जा रही हो जी श्रीनान मैं घर जा रही हूँ आपने ग्लेन के माता पिता को कॉल बताया है और अब मैं आपने माता पिता को बताने जा रहे हो आई एम श्योर देर वुड बी डिलाइटेड टू लर्न ऑफ योर इंगेजमेंट टू सच अन मैन आई एम नॉट सो श्योर अबाउट दैट माई डैड स्टो थिंग्स एम लिटल गर्ल Well, sometimes I think he's still stuck in the 1990s. This morning, Lata began grinding the roots for the colors you've selected. I know a year is a long time to wait, but this will be a very special carpet. It's going to be our belated wedding gift to each other. I am honored that the two of you met in my shop. A handsome young doctor from Belgium and a beautiful scientist from America. You did much for our village, and I wish you a lifetime of love, my children. Store image. Render building. Show new plant. Show new exterior. Answer call. Hi, sweetheart. Ian, would you mind picking me up at my office instead of at home? I've got something I need to finish up. You want me to swing by and pick up Zach? No, he's playing with some friends. Oh, honey, I'm so excited. It's been almost four months. Uh, I'll see you in about an hour. What do you want? I want to show you this. What is it? A court order. You and your group have to leave. Perhaps eventually. But it says here that your wrecking crews may not touch this building for 30 days. That means, Mr. Harrison Adams, that we have 30 days to present our case to the city planner's office. 30 days to save Bassett Hall. And we will save it. I don't understand why you're so against new housing here. We have adequate housing in this neighborhood, thank God. But what we need is a, a community center where... <laughs> Who are you, anyhow? I'm the deputy city planner. System, hold heroes and horrors. Zach, you can't quit just when they're about to bite your neck. That's worth 500 points. I got a message. I gotta put you guys on hold. Network calls on hold. System, message please. Zach, if this message appears, you've spent more than an hour playing a game, and you know the limits we agreed on, sweetie. So finish up right away, and if you want to stay on the system, then switch to virtual homework, okay? Release hold on calls. Mommy checking up on you, Zachary? Kara, I'm gonna clobber you. We'll see, you ready to start? Yeah, resume heroes and horrors. <laughs> Kara, Jamie, uh, it's getting late here. I gotta do homework, goodbye. I missed you guys too much. Oh, my Dad. Girl. Oh. 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 Mm. oh, I'm so glad you're oh, home. So great. Look, I forgot. I brought you something. <laughs> For your collection. Oh. It's a mountain climbing bear. He's so cute. <laughs> Baggage claims this way. Yeah, Daddy, where the phones are this way, and I told somebody I'd call as soon as I touched down. Hmm. Well, you'll see. Will you hold this? Just for one second. <laughs> Good afternoon, Ms. McFarland. Please verify your identity by saying the random word stepladder. Stepladder. How may we help you? Glenn, please. Glenn Carson or Glenn Devereaux? Devereaux. He's at his parents' home and has left word to connect you there. Who are you calling? Daddy, shh. Thank you for using AT&T. Bonjour, Lily. Bonjour, Madame Devereaux. Un mon, mon chéri. Who's this woman? Daddy, please. There's somebody I want you to meet. Ma chérie. Ça fait je suis terre, mais c'est comme une année. Monsieur McFarland, je suis Glenn Deverieu, le fiancé de votre fille. What did he say? J'ai dit avec beaucoup de fierté et amour, Monsieur McFarland, that I am the fiancé of your beautiful daughter. And if I may, Mr. McFarland, I would be honored to call you dad. Dad. She marries this boy, she's out of here. She's not living in this house anymore. I agree with you. You do? Sure. When she marries Glenn, she won't be living in this house anymore. Very funny. 
Answer call. Your consultation is ready, Anne. All connections have been made. Sydney, do we have full enterprise set up? Yes, Anne. Lauren Williams, the patient, and a technician are in Orem, Utah at the scanner. Lauren's specialist, Dr. Lyle, is at her office in Boston. Wu Corporation's computer-aided design center is online from Seoul, and two of Mr. Wu's suppliers are on standby. Mr. Wu, however, is fishing in Mongolia and has taken himself off the network. His intelligent agent, Mr. Park, will handle the call. I'll take it in the other room. Sydney? Yes, Ian? Why did my wife design her computerized intelligent agent to be so young and handsome? I am sorry, Ian. I'm not permitted to respond to that question. Well, that's smart, Sydney. But I do thank you for the compliment. Mr. Park, please display unit cost as I change design parameters on the CAD. Only Mr. Wu can authorize cost displays with a patient online. I can, however, run retail figures. That'll be fine. Dr. Lyle, we could do a holograph of the leg, maybe polymerize a new prosthesis socket. Anne, I really think we're going to have to make some changes in the prosthesis itself. It's not allowing her to drop to her knees the way a goalie needs to without experiencing quite a lot of pain. Maybe we could leave the socket alone. Cad, show me an 18% increase in surface elasticity. Sydney, put Lauren's scan on screen. Lauren, your musculature has changed dramatically in the last three months. I've been training really hard, Miss McFarlane, for the Junior League Hockey Championships in Helsinki. Helsinki? Can remeasure and give me figures of the present socket design executed in a less temperature sensitive co -pilot. Hi, Lily. How are you? Oh, it's beautiful. Thanks. Go right on in. She's expecting you. Okay, thanks. Mr. Wu has forwarded the cost figures for the changes in Lauren Williams' prosthesis. They are in line with our estimates, but he has allowed a 12% discount. A discount? He loves hockey. <laughs> we'll pass the savings to the Williams Insurance Company, then retransmit the video mail we got of Lauren's hockey finals in Helsinki to Wu. He should get a real kick out of that. <laughs> hi, Mom. Oh, hi, honey. Come on in. Are you ready to go shopping? I'm all set. Oh, mm -hmm. great. Sit down. Sydney, lunchtime. Uh, please order us two cop salads from Ronnie's. Also, put us online with Colton's bridal service. <laughs> Lily, please authorize your electronic mannequin. Open clothing file, transmit mannequin Lily, white tunic and heels. Now here's the basic dress. I see what it would look like if it was just a little shorter. Shorter? <laughs> Only in the front, Mom. How's this? I think maybe it's just a little too showy. Yeah, definitely. There is one type of dress that I'd really like to see. It's um, a retro look. Something that they might have worn in the 1920s. OK, let me suggest this one. Could I see a cloche hat with that and, um, and a veil? And show me a bouquet just for the heck of it. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> Thank you for coming. I didn't think you would after the way I spoke to you the other day. Don't worry about that. I didn't come with any good news, though, Ms. Ortiz. I, I came because the material you sent me showed a lot of caring and concern. I want to show you something. This is an electronic classroom. When we link to the education center in Washington, DC, we have in this school the very best teachers. And although they are computer generated, they can interact with each student individually at his or her level, providing that special help exactly when and where it's needed. Not all the children in this neighborhood get that kind of attention at home. That's why it's become so very important for us to establish a community center. Of course you didn't help her. There's nothing you could do anyhow. What's that? It's a presentation Anita Ortiz and her group prepared. Not interested. 
it's too late. Ian, it's over. The court order expires tonight at midnight, and tomorrow Bassett Hall comes down. Billy's wedding day. Pre-wedding jitters, I guess. Yeah, me too. I know. It's a lot of things, Lily. Last few days, I've sort of taken stock of who I am, and I realized that I, I always used to be a guy who tried to do what was best. Now I do what's safe. I was upset about your marriage because I didn't want you to take any risks. All I know, Daddy, is that I love Glenn. But I feel strongly enough about it that I'm willing to take that chance. And I'll never regret accepting whatever risk there might have been in taking a stand. System, give me Harrison Adams. He is at the office, but has told the network to hold all calls. Would you care to record a message? He's still at his office? Cancel the call. Call canceled. Harrison? I got two things to say to you. One. What makes you think you know more about what's right for a community than the people that live in it? Two, you are about as bullheaded an individual as I have ever met. Bullheaded? <laughs> well, Ian, when you're right, you're right. Right, Mrs. Ortiz? Mrs. Ortiz? What's going on? What's going on is I read a presentation, and you were right. It is good. Now, that still doesn't make me wrong about this community center business. But the demolition is still on hold. I got the surprise of my life last night when Mr. Adams called and asked me to come down here. I sent Marsh, my intelligence agent, to hit a lot of databases all over the world. I asked him to develop new recommendations for the Bassett Hall property. Based on a building with 20 housing units, incorporating space for recreation, and a community center. He found 10 such buildings on elevations identical to what we've got downtown. He even got permission to access our lenders database and the tax office. Well, what can I do to help? Uh, nothing, not right now anyhow, because I've got more important things for us to do. More important, like what? Like going home, showering, shaving, putting on some fancy duds, and showing up at your daughter's wedding. Oh, Lily, Glenn. Ah, Shrinan. Colleen, I got hey. Hum, apko the kanta chat the hey. There's something else we want to show you too, Shrinan. <laughs> oh, Lily. He's so beautiful. Baby's kind of cute too, don't you think? <laughs> 